eyes and going folks i want to show you guys something here we replaced the boiler here i want to say maybe four years ago but this customer has two ac only air handlers in the attic uh, one does the, the back area and this one does the front and this is a york two-ton unit and guys just based on the condition I can tell you this unit is easily between 12 and 14 years old, but we're out here for the maintenance and I want to show you guys something. This is something that we always do, but like I said, if you guys don't already do this, this would be a great thing to add to your repertoire. You know, if you guys are out doing AC maintenances and you definitely want to avoid, you know, that next breakdown. But guys, first things first, you definitely want to do a, visit, a, a visual inspection of the unit. If you see any twigs or, or leaves inside the condenser, inside the unit pop the top clean it out also if you see any webbing or any type of nesting inside the unit near your electrical components you definitely want to get a brush we'll keep one of these in the truck you can just go to harbor freights and pick one up but guys definitely you want to just keep everything as clean as possible no matter the age of the unit i don't care if this thing was two years old or 20 you can always try your best to make it look cleaner than than how it was before you got there okay but guys, the reason I'm making this video is I want to show you guys something with this contactor. Um, I, I already made a few videos with the capacitor, but I want to show you guys something with the contactor. Real simple guys, the contactor is nothing more than the switch. you got constant power on one side, and you got the wires that's going to your condenser on the other side. And that contactor is not going to send power from one side to the other unless the coil gets energized, and that coil gets energized on the call for cooling. So whenever you want AC guys, the unit turns on, and when you don't want AC, the, 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 um, the coil gets unenergized and the unit turns off. Pretty simple. But as far as on the maintenance guys, there's more than one way to check a contactor. Uh, preventative wise, if this contactor was bad, then of course it will be a no AC situation. But guys, we're out here on the maintenance and I always tell customers, you know, about, like I said, expected lifespans on, on, on equipment, whether it be heat or AC. Guys, whenever AC unit gets past 10 years, even if you maintain it, you always will have some type of issues as far as with smaller parts, whether it be, you know, capacitors, relays, contactors, you name it, guys. That's just the nature of the beast. You know, you can't avoid it. Um, but the, it, the thing is, guys, whenever equipment gets past a certain age, if the repair cost is astronomical and it doesn't make sense to do, at that point, you can tell customers it's normal past a certain age, past 10 years, to just get your, get your equipment, you know, replaced. Because unfortunately, guys, you know, None of us are magicians. We're all, you know, all our, our our technicians are in the preventative game. The only thing we can do is avoid breakdowns. But guys, we can't tell you when that next breakdown is going to happen. But I can guarantee you, breakdowns are going to happen at, at the customer's inconvenience. You know, now they got to take time off work. Breakdowns going to happen on a 95 degree day. You know, for AC and then with heat is going to break down on the coldest day of the year. You know, that's a proven fact. So like, you know, I understand. Like I said, some customers. It might not be in the cars to replace the system, you know, but at the same time, it's your job as a technician to let them know why the system is still running. Hey, ma'am or sir, this is what you can expect based on the age of this unit. You know, now's the time to start saving up. You know, if you can't do it now, just start saving up for a new system because once guys, once these repairs start piling up, you know, at that point, you got to step back and say, hey, you know, why should we replace this $3,000 compressor? If you know, if something else going on, you know, if something's going on with the motor too, with the with the outdoor fan motor. So guys, that's the that's the biggest thing, you know. And whether we're doing a maintenance or um, or we're we're making a repair, I always like to educate customers not only on the age of the equipment but also on the life expectancy of the equipment. But guys, back to the contactor. You can always do a visual check on the contactor. Unfortunately, this contactor when I got here was full of cobwebs. We just cleaned it off a little bit. But you always want to check the coil and check the stay connectors. If something looks burnt, guys, I don't care the age of the, of the system. Hopefully this doesn't happen on a new system. But, guys, if the contactor is visibly burnt, I don't care if it's still running. I will always, always recommend replacing it because, guys, whenever you have burn marks on the coil or the stay connectors, it's only a matter of time before the contactor itself burns out. And hopefully not. But if that contactor um, burns out and, it, and, the, and the buttons actually engages meaning the contactor gets stuck in you can have this condenser run without the fan inside and if that happens your ac unit freezes up and remember like i said the air handler is in the attic so you know what happens when something freezes up above the attic 
customer is going to have ceiling damage. So, guys, I always tell customers with contactors, contactors are not built to the last 20, 30 years. I mean, keep in mind, guys, it's easy for me to say nothing, but like you said, my job as a service professional and your job as a service professional is to educate customers on parts like this because this isn't something a customer can open up the panel and read up on. I mean, you know, keep in mind, we're dealing with a lot of voltage. We're dealing with a lot of things that, like I said, a lot of customers, you know, probably won't know about and also it's unsafe for them for them to do themselves. You know, that, that's why they call us out to, to you know, to check and, 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 and fix equipment. But guys, you always want to look at the contactor uh, visually. If you see burn marks, definitely you want to recommend, you know, replacing that contactor. And another thing, guys, there's something called potential difference. As you can see here, this is the incoming side and that's the outgoing side. The outgoing side is what's going to the come going to the unit, meaning the condenser on uh, fan motor and the compressor. This is the incoming voltage shot. This is what's coming from the disconnect. And as you can see, our incoming power is 246, 245, 246. So that's good. You know, you should have between 230 and 240. And guys, I wanna show you guys something here. If you go, if you have 246 here, you should have 246 here. If the voltage you have incoming is not the same as what you have going to the unit, then that means that this contactor is not making a good connection, and that means that the contacts are weak and it's not sending 100% of power from one side to the, to the other. Now this could happen over time, guys. How you can check for potential difference is you go from one side to the other, And wow, that's not good. That pretty much means that you have 246 here and like 239, give or take on, 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 on this side. Like, guys, if you got like a non a non volt difference, I mean that's not good. I mean it could be I said 236, it could be a little bit less than less than that. But guys, if you have incoming power here and you can confirm it with the meter, if it's not the same on the other side, even if the system is running, you definitely want to recommend replacing that contactor. And keep in mind, guys, this is the original contactor. This isn't, nothing was replaced on the system. Um, this capacitor looks newer, but I don't think we ever fixed this unit. It was the unit on the other side that did the back of the house that we had to, um, I think we did a fan motor on that unit. I want to say last summer. But guys, I just showed you something with that contactor. This is a two second fix, but like I said, for what it's worth, guys, this contactor felling, for one, it's going to happen when the customer least expected it to and now she's got to pay for a new ceiling or god forbid she could have mold in the, in the attic from the unit freezing up and also guys just the overall inconvenience you know that's why customers pay us you know to do our to, to do this job it's like i said we're professionals and you know like you said if you, you've been around this long enough you can spot things and you can educate customers on things before it breaks down you know because like i said we're not magicians i can't tell you in three weeks if this contact is going to go out or if it's going to happen in three years but what i can tell the customer is that hey when it does happen, once again, you know, you might have to take time off work to schedule the appointment. And then for two, this could snowball into a bigger, a bigger issue. So guys, for sure, like I said, I always try my best, like I said, just to avoid breakdowns. Cause like I said, you know, when breakdowns happen, the customer's not gonna be happy to call you. There's always gonna be something that you're gonna have to, that the customer's gonna have to deal with, you know? But guys, there you have it. I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna check the other unit out too as well, because I believe both of these units are 13 plus years old but um yeah it depends on how the other unit looks you can actually see the other one right down there i gotta turn the thermostat on but for sure um, i already checked the the refrigerant pressures everything spot on our td inside is okay we flush the drains out inside and also the filter is okay but the biggest thing on that is the contactor we definitely want to get that replaced but i want to look at the other one and I'll, I'll do a full um, breakdown with the customer and let them know what's going on. But there you guys have it, guys. If you're not preventing repairs, then like I said, you know, that's the purpose of why customers call us. You know, you want to avoid breakdowns. So there you guys have it. Keep rocking and rolling. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.